without wasting any time, I'm going to go straight into the main thing that you're known <laughs> for. <laughs> okay. Which is Britain's Got Talent. Okay, the next guest I'm going to introduce, born on September 17th, 2001 in London, UK. Yes, Asanda Jazile hails from a family of musicians. Asanda shot to fame after becoming a finalist on Britain's Got Talent in yes. 2013 and has since performed at various events, including the Shamal El Sheikh in Egypt. She performed at the charity event Ubuntu Educational Fund. She also recorded and released a song and a video called Do They Know It's Christmas. Now, in 2015, Asanda played the lead role Talula in the theatre show Bugsy Malone and won a special Young Achievers Award at the BAFTA UK Special Award. Her performance has gained over 80 million views on YouTube. Wow. She also performed at the various events, including the one-to-one -one Children's Fund Building Lives Conference at the FIDF Western Region Gala in the USA, along with David Foster. She was invited to perform on the live television show Super Kids in Germany in 2016 and was selected as one of the contestants of the Eurovision You Decide the Song contest that was in 2018. Yes. In 2020, Asanda released her first single, Photogenic, during the pandemic and later appeared on the Britain's Got Talent Christmas special in December 2020. Asanda Giselle, uh, hi, oh, I keep saying Giselle, you know. <laughs> Asanda Gisele, highly anticipated debut album or EP, The Wait Is Over, was released on April 29th, 2023. And with this release, Asanda has cemented her place as one of the most exciting new talent in the music industry. Industry, ladies and gentlemen, it's Asanda Jezile. Hey, quite interesting. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to reading this kind of introduction. This is like a CV, <laughs> like a work experience kind of thing. Wow, how are you feeling? I feel good. How are you? I'm good, man. For those people who don't know who you are, where you were born, where were you born exactly in London? Ah, uh, um, I was born in London. Yeah. I was born in southeast. Southeast. Yeah. Okay. That's quite interesting. Have you been um, in South Africa? Yeah, I've been since I was like six months. Okay. Back and forth. How do you find it? How do you find South Africa compared to... It's very laid back. Yeah. Um, London's very busy, but it's kind of like a vibe. Okay. Without wasting any time, I'm going to go straight into the main thing that you're known <laughs> for. <laughs> okay. Which is Britain's Girls Talent. Yeah. Now, I'm going to play the clip. Um, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> ah, you don't ah. want me to play? I don't watch myself. No? No. Do you cringe when you watch yourself? 100%. Really? You see that fringe? <laughs> <laughs> you. No, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it. I'm going to play it for you guys because there's some people who haven't seen it. For them. I have for, for me, Shem. Okay. I won't I'll do that. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just play it in the background as, yeah. as we speak. I mean, on that day, when you went there... How did you know you were going to Britain's Got Talent? Who applied for you? Um, I applied in like, well, I can't remember because it was 10 years ago. But really yeah. and truly, I was at home. My dad went on his email and then he saw that my audition was the next day. So we didn't really prepare anything like that. So and who then, sent the email? Was it your dad? Yes. Okay. We received the email of my slot. Yeah. But we, oh, you know, it was a Christmas period. Yeah. And then January, everyone's busy, back to school and whatever. And I did my audition in February 2013. Okay. So it was hectic. So before then... Uh, um, it was hectic. Was it? Ah, uh, it was hectic. But before then, was he applying for different things? Um, No, we just applied for it. But I didn't really think too, too much about it. But the pressure was, was definitely on when I found out the day before my audition that I have to audition tomorrow. Okay. Imagine if my dad didn't want... Go through his email the night before. I wouldn't know. I would have missed my slot. Shit. Did, really. did you know what you, what songs you were gonna perform? Um, originally I sang Halo. Okay. I sang Halo, and then Simon said, "Do I have any other songs, um, 
any other songs that I have and I told them Diamonds. So then Diamonds seemed to work. So then obviously the directors, they cut it. The editors cut it. To so Diamonds, yeah. Okay. How was the performance for Halo? Um, the performance was good for Halo, but Simon felt that because I was 11 years old, it was too mature for me. It didn't really bring out uh, my personality and charisma. Okay. Which is why Diamonds kind of brought everything out. Did you get nervous so, when he said that? Did you think, oh, I must have done something wrong? No, not really. I was just on, I was on whatever. Is it? To be honest, no. I wasn't really, I didn't feel any type of way. Okay. Imagine if he said, no, I have to go home. So no from me. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. And then after singing Diamond, how did you feel? Because I saw the attitude. I was like, yo. After singing Diamond, to be honest, I didn't really, um, I didn't really think on when I was on that stage, to be honest. But um, the audition aired, um, was it April? Yeah. When it was aired yeah. out. So after my audition, I just went back to school, back to normal. I didn't really think too tough of what I'd done. So yeah. when I watched it back, when it aired, I was like, whoa, they actually did that. Like, that oh, album. you mean the edit of, of taking out the Halo? All of that Halo, the yeah, because they didn't, they didn't, I didn't know. So I was thinking, are they, they going to put Halo? Yeah. Is Simon, are they going to put Simon's comment? Are they going to put, what are they going to put? Yeah. So it was new for everyone, but I think they did a Brilliant. good job. Yeah. yeah. Diamonds but, so was really a good song. When you went to school, were you like, Feeling confident at school, like yo, really. listen, I've been to this place. Not really. I just no. kept it to myself, to be honest, because I was in my head. I'm just thinking, what's gonna come out? Is it gonna yeah. be Halo, or is it gonna be Diamond? Mm. And when you told your friends, did you tell any of your friends? I don't really tell any of my friends. No, I didn't tell anybody. Okay, things like that. Sometimes you have to keep it to yourself. Yourself, yeah. And then when you saw it, you were like, when I, I saw like it, this. when it was out, I was like, yeah, okay. I like it. And then moving forward, did anything change in terms of your attitude? Did you think it is what it is when you got there? Is there anything that... I mean, it, that it is what it is. I really, had, I think I really had to have tough skin from a young age. Okay. I still have it now, to be honest, so it's not really like a major kind of thing, but um, you definitely have to be... At a young age, like, you have to... I had to learn that not everyone's going to like me. Yeah. Um, no one's going to... Just for the sake of it, no one's going to like you. Yeah. You as a person, whether you're doing something within yourself career-wise, just your presence. No one's going to like you, but that's none of my business. Yeah. So, you just as long as, going. yeah, I mean, I like to sing, so. I read in your intro that you were born in a family of musicians. Does that yeah. mean your mom is a singer, your dad is a singer, everybody's a singer? Yeah, my mom and dad, they both sing. Okay. Have you got any siblings? I've got two brothers. Are they good singers? Um, One does football and one, one is a businessman, so. Okay. So between you, your mom, and your dad, who's the best singer? Uh, we're all good in our own way, but I mean, they, they kind of gave it to me, so I, I'll say them. Yeah? Both of them. They're better than me. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was yeah. listening to some of, your, some of your songs. There's a mixture in, in your album, which we'll, we'll get into it as we go along, but I can see that there's a bit of sound of I'm a piano, but then the other side, you're targeting Eben. What kind of music do you want to sing? What, what reached out to you? Um, to be honest, R&B's always been like... The heart and soul, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I'm a piano. It's really fun. Yeah. Um, but that's not a genre where I would strive for. Where if someone says I'm an I'm a piano artist, no, that's not because everyone knows me from Brins or Talent or those who don't. Yeah. I d I didn't sing in a piano song. I sang an R and B pop R&B song. song. Yeah. So that's what I want to be known for as an artist, an R and B artist. So would you venture into like I'm a piano? I wouldn't mind. Into, yeah. I mean, I had it was, I really had fun, really. I mean, and plus it's like I'm a piano is like it's it's on top right now. It's it's popping right now. Yeah. You know, everyone everywhere you go, yeah. you hear it. But What's, um, yeah. Nah, I wouldn't take that as a genre where it's like I'm just gonna do that. No. What's your favorite song of I'm a piano? Alice Banning. <laughs> That's the problem. There's a lot. Um, yeah. my current one has to be Hamba Chub. Okay. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> that is my song. Nah, that's dope, that is man. actually my song. Now I've, I've got here Shamal Al Sheikh in Egypt. Yeah. Tell me about that. What was going on there? How did you get to Egypt? Um, I was asked to perform for um just during the Christmas period. Yeah. The same year, I just came out from the talent. So we went there, spent Christmas. So that was two thousand and thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I went there to perform. Um, basically around the whole resort. The resort of the Sharm El Sheikh venue where I performed. Mm -hmm. So, yo, to be honest, looking back now, <coughs> I should have embraced that holiday because I was just homesick. Is it like imagine you do like 
Did you go with your parents? Yeah, but I was still homesick. Right. Yeah, like Christmas, New Year. I don't yeah. want to be... Had you been to Egypt mm. before? Yeah. Okay. But I'd rather be in SA, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be in SA, to be Listen honest. To I you. would not. Here you nah. are. You've got a chance. You perform into a different crowd. Nah, I'd rather be in SA, man. Is it? Sorry, man. Well, was it a bit dull? Like, was it, I don't was know it anyone. I mean, I met um, a few people. Very nice people. I mean... I know I would have been I could have been an essay to be honest. Yeah. Looking back, looking back, it was a it's be- like Sean Shakespeare. It's beautiful. beautiful. But, nah. Would you go back though? Would you revisit? I'll go back, but not for Christmas or New Year's. Yeah. Nah. But in terms in terms of performance, let's say your performance. Oh, 100 percent. Is there anything that you feel you could have done better, or did it go the way that you wanted it to go? Um, everything went well, really. Yeah. Um, I think I probably would have. I would perform the day after I land. So the day I landed, I performed the same night. But at the same time, that's kind of showbiz. Like sometimes you just have to just go with the flow. Yeah. Not everything's gonna ha- happen accordingly. Yeah. Things happen. Which happen. song? Which song did you perform there? Um, I sang you ten years ago. Ha. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, I can't remember. You know. Is it? No, I can't remember. I think I didn't know. I did sing Do Do They Know It's Christmas, but I I forgot the rest. I was going to say, there's a question that I want to ask you, which I've asked you already. Do you get tired of people saying to you, oh my God, you've grown so much. Like, are you ever going to get used to that question? I've gotten used to it, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But do you understand where we're coming from when we're asking Yeah, I mean, 10 years is a lot now. Like, it's crazy. All right. 10 years is a lot. Nah. So in 2015, I understand you done the, um, is it Talula? Yeah. In the show Bugsy Malone. Yeah. When I heard that, actually, I've never, I'd never seen the show Bugsy Malone because I had to look it up and whatnot. I thought they were talking about Bugsy. But then I, <laughs> the, the artist. So I looked at the show. It's quite interesting, actually. Thank you. Did you know about it before you performed to it? Or did you go there not knowing what it is and you had to catch up with it? I knew Bugsy Malone, like, through the movie. Okay. But, um... Yeah, I just went for it, just to be Tallulah. And I, didn't, I mean, Tallulah's a diva, and obviously that wasn't really <laughs> hard. It wasn't really hard for me to... It wasn't really hard for me to, you know... Yeah. Be a diva. But obviously... um Rehearsals, obviously, the director knows what he wants. So yeah, it's about delivering. Yeah, learning the lines was crazy. How was I that? I did that for, for nine you? months. For nine, nine months. months. Yeah, got like after school straight. Sometimes I have two shows in one day. Yeah. So Wednesdays, luckily, my school finished at two ten. Yeah. Um, literally showtime. That's matinees. Yeah. Afternoon, evening. So that okay. was that was the. That was the vibe. But when you say when you say nine months, you mean shooting the show or preparing for the show to shoot? No, doing the whole the whole show, preparing and doing it. Okay. So from February to September. Uh-huh. And did you like the acting? So would you prefer which one do you prefer, acting or singing? I think both, but I'd say singing. Is it? Yeah, I'd say singing. Okay. What do you? What is it that you don't like about acting? Is it just not your thing? Or no, I don't mind. Mm. I don't mind doing acting, but um, obviously singing is more of me. Okay, but when you're an artist, when you're performing, you kind of have to act, yeah, and get into your character. Like if you have an alter ego, you're gonna obviously act, yeah, and move and act a certain way. So, mm, still singing, yeah, comes first. Yeah. I mean, we all know you look up to Beyonce. Oh, How did you get inspired? I by think Beyonce? we knew this from the get go. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I knew Beyonce since Destiny's Child. Yeah, I'm saying it like I know her like that. Yeah, but um, yeah, since Destiny's Child, like. Have I'm you met Beyonce? No, but that's still coming. Don't worry about it. Yeah. That's still coming. All right. That's still coming. What if, what if I was to open the door and she walks in here? This podcast is over. I'm meeting <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> Literally. Yeah? But yeah. she's amazing, though. She she's is. really brilliant, she, man. That's my girl. Yeah? That's I can. I, I mean, I saw the attitude from, from day one when you worked on stage. We could tell we like, okay. Yeah, I love her. I love Beyonce. her, man. I love her. Man. That's that's quite good. Is, is there any other people that inspire you? Ex, ex, except, uh, oh, I love Rihanna as well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. She's doing really good right now. I'm so, oh, she's so inspiring. Yeah. Um. Now, I'm just not saying I'm not looking up to anyone, but I'm kind of just 
looking into my own craft. Yeah. And trying to see if I'm in my like within my craft if Obviously, yesterday is not today's story, isn't it? Yeah. So you have to always evaluate yourself. I'm yeah. very critical and self-critical of what I do yeah. when it comes to my craft. So I'm kind of looking into that within okay. myself. Right. I'm not really fussed on looking at what other people are doing. I'm just you just focus on, on, on your on own me, thing. To be honest, when it comes to writing music, I'm I'm supposing you are, you write your own music, right? Yeah. How's the writing process for you? Because I I always wonder because some people listen to the beat first. And then they come with the lyrics. Some people start with the lyrics and then come with the beat. Some people would just be walking mm. around with a notebook or just typing That's things true. on the phone. So how's your That's process? True. So uh, most of the songs from the EP, um, yeah. they were written. I had the melody in my head already. Mm. I had the hook already. So really it just took me having to go to the studio and then for my producer yeah. to kind of um, catch up with the melody that I had. Mm-hmm. But certain songs there, I genuinely would go to the studio and then in an hour I'd have a hook and then the verses would just follow. Yeah. But I didn't really want, I didn't want to think too much. I just wanted to just go with the flow. Okay. But we, before we get into your album, I know you released this song called Photogenic. Yes. During the pandemic. Yes. Tell me about that. How was that for you? Um, that was written for me. I produced it called Calvin. Okay. Um, that's not my favourite song, I'll be honest. Is it? Hell no. That is not my favourite song. <laughs> was that your first song? That was my first song that I recorded. Um, but that wasn't a song where it was going to be for my upcoming EP. Yeah. But yeah. What is it that you don't like about the song? Every, not everything. I'm just... That's not me. Like, how can I say? Like, my EP is more of me, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone has their own pet peeves. Like... Nah, that's so not when you song. listen to it, you're like, mm, I don't listen I to it. Is it? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hell no. but you don't take chances. Like you're nah. quite strict about your your your, your art. Yeah, that's quite I don't. Good. I don't. Nah. nah, nah. So let's talk about the pandemic when there was uh, Corona and everything. How 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 was life for you at that time? Yo, to be honest, at the beginning it was really hard. Yeah, but um, I took content during pandemic. I. I would get what were ready. You doing? I would get ready, do my makeup, and do my hair. And to be honest, I'm actually happy I did that because now I'm better at doing makeup. Yeah. Because before my eyebrows were just doing like am I slides, my lines and yeah. Am I I was a bed. Yeah. But now, um, yeah, I was just, I was just doing content. I like just taking pictures. Mm. Um, learning how to do my makeup, which obviously benefits. Three years later, you know yeah. the natural glam look. <laughs> But yeah. What about depression? What about mental health? Anything like that? Did, did you get affected in any how? Um, sometimes it'll be boring. Sometimes like I'll get bored. But it was really nice because I started watching um Mzansi Magic, The River. Mm. Oh yeah. So it was really fun, you know, catching up. Yeah. Cause I've never watched an essay series in the UK. I always watch essay shows. Okay. When I'm there. So, so now that you kind have time of to... and now I'm obsessed with the river. Like I don't play with the episodes. Yeah. And then um well, a lot of sleep as well yeah. and rest. But okay. uh, it was not easy at the beginning. The first two months were hard. Did you write a lot? Yes. A lot of music? Yes, yes, yes. I did that, of course. Okay. And what about performing in America? Um, was it the FIDF Rebuilding Western Region Gala or yes. something like that? Uh, that was in 2015. Yeah. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. I have no, nothing to say even, but I know I'm a better ifs and whatever, no. Yeah. LA was nice. So when you go to LA, do you go alone? Do you go to with your parents? I'm with the family. Is ah, they couldn't miss this one. Is it? You're like, ah, we're going together. Ah, uh, no, LA is... Pff, LA. And how do you get that kind of a gig? Is it your agent? Is it... um Agency okay. management. All right. So when you got the call, you were like, ah, oh, no. I didn't waste this. time. Nah, we're going uh, I didn't waste time, no. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. What was the first place you went to when you arrived? What did you want to see? Um, well, the first place I went, I went downtown LA. Yeah. And then, um, I really chilled in the airport. Really. Not really in the airport, sorry. The hotel. Yeah. I chilled at the hotel. Breakfast and dinner was pff, amazing. Yeah. And you know what's so nice? It's like certain TV shows, I watch them here. So yeah. then when I was there, it just... The adrenaline is just like, <laughs> yeah, do you know what in. I mean? I was like, oh my God, I'm in LA. Yeah. Because at 14, you never think that. 
Mm. And I was like, whoa, you know, like you actually see the the Lambos, the, you see the you know real life mean? in front of your Chihuahuas, eyes. Chihuahuas, yeah. the blondes with the fake boobs. It's like, whoa, okay. Yeah. This is really LA. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's quite interesting, man. But it's good that you you're traveling a lot. I mean, you like you said, you've been to Egypt now, you've been to America. I understand you've been to Germany. Yes. Yeah, was that 2016? Yeah, it's I've still. been there. So what was I've going on in, in Germany? It um, was a performance, um, Super Kids. So kids all around the world just performing. Yeah. For a show called Super Kids. Ah, uh, Germany I really liked. Yeah. It's very, very hard. Ihre ganze Familie unterstützt Asanda. Doch ihr größter Fan ist ihr achtjähriger Bruder. I'll be happy for it. Mm. I wish I had good luck. Mm, thank you. <laughs> it's good to have people who support you. And, you know, the more support you have, then the more encouraged you become. And the more encouraged you become is the more you do well in yourself and you believe in yourself. Can you speak a bit of German? No. Nothing. But because mom can speak Afrikaans. Yeah. Um we, oh. I had a day off. I had a day off where we could like just walk around, go somewhere, get food. Yeah. And literally my, my mom was like our tourist. Okay. Our tourist guide. Oh because Dutch and Afrikaans. Yeah, so she was, she was able similar. to <laughs> she was able to <laughs> <laughs> understand the directions and I was like, "Oh, oh. whoa." Oh. Yeah. How was your Afrikaans? I can't speak Afrikaans for At anyone. All. No, no. All I know like is Macan. Uh, I know the swear word. I'm not gonna say it now. Yeah. The P word. Yeah. Is your massive? Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only word that I really. Chutus. <laughs> is it chutus? I'm gonna. Chutus. Yeah, chutus. Es vach. Yeah, I'm gonna add. Uh, es vach. Near. Near. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, ah. Nah, I don't know. Anything. Yeah, like who can do it? Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I know that word because all you guys when you hear music, you say Vavas J. Yeah. Where were you? <laughs> Where were you? I was in the womb. I was in the womb. <laughs> nah, I was literally in the bad. womb. Uh, I've got here the Eurovision. That was 2018. Let's talk about that, man. I saw your performance there. I loved it actually. Thank you. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I think you were wearing something Red. pinkish or reddish. Yes. Yeah, something like that. Yes. <laughs> you get the call and who got the call did you get the call did your dad get the call i got the call um and I was who's quite calling nervous. you at the time um management agency okay um i was very nervous 
Mm. So I was like, whoa, like, this is where Celine Dion and ABBA comes from. Yeah. This was before BGT. This was before X Factor and whatever. Yeah. So it's a huge, huge platform okay. for Europe. And um, I think that was, it's a, it was an amazing opportunity, number one. Yeah. And it was hectic. Yeah. Yeah, it was hectic at 16. It was like a different milestone from 11 to 16. I was like, well, okay. Um, the pressure definitely was there. But when they when they call you, did they say, "Look, we've got this opportunity. It's up to you. Do you want to take it or not?" Did they say, "It's up to me"? Yeah, I said yes. Okay. And did you know which song you're gonna perform? Did they no, give you the song? They, the songwriter, the songwriters there that they give. Okay. And then you just go to studio, record. You have a art, um, artist producer. You have a songwriter. Yeah. So you just have to just go with the flow and follow instructions. And how's that process? Is it is it is it terrifying? Is it exciting? It's a lot. Like, even the dance, rehearsals, mm. it's a lot. It's a lot. Because if you look at it, you you go on, the, on Britain's Got Talent, you're only, what, 11 at that time? How old yeah, are you? 11. 11. Now you're at 14 in Germany. Now, these things are happening so fast. Yeah. How do you cope with these things? Is there, is there somebody, do you have a life coach? No. No, it's just you. Yeah, and family. And do you look back and think, oh my God, I've done so much? Or do you look at it and think, mm, I could do more? Both. At young age, that's a lot. But now I know I can do more. Especially now that I have my own music out, I know I can definitely do more. Like It's just a, it's that kind of season where I have to go hard. Mm. I don't really want to settle. What I about think. the pressure? Like At school, don't you get treated differently? At home, don't they now... Scared of Asanda, you get this special treatment. What about really, your friends? I don't really. That's the thing. That's the thing where you are gonna lose friends in the process, and mm. that's the thing. No one's gonna like you, and people definitely switch up. I can yeah. say that for free. What do you but, mean you lose friends? Because obviously, like, um, it's not easy if you if everyone knows you from TV, right? Yeah. You no, know, some people are not gonna want to be friends with you because of who you as a person. It's gonna be friends with you just because just of just friendship. because of what you have or the platform or whatever. Yeah. Um. As for people being threatened by me, mm. I don't really know. Okay. But I do know if I'm going somewhere, there's some place I'm not, I'm not going to go to because of yeah. certain people because I want to be around that specific energy. Uh-huh. I'm going to go where I feel comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah, that I, I really don't care. Yeah. Okay. I really don't care. What about at home? Does mom and dad change or they just like, hey, listen here right now? Oh, we're still the same. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not special it's not a, there's no listen there's, <laughs> there's no verified blue tick there's no there's no brilliant or talent whatever but they are very supportive okay yeah i'm That's still good, I'm, I'm still a vibe yeah the vibe is still there you're quite lucky though to have parents that are quite supportive like that because like you're saying with the pressure with the amount of things that you're doing if your parents are there for you it makes it quite yeah. quite easier yeah and they've always been with you wherever wherever you're going Yes, definitely. Oh, that's brilliant, man. Let's learn, let's talk about uh, the album. No, actually, you appeared on Britain's Got Talent. Is it Christmas special? Yes, that was during COVID. Do you remember okay. when we had another yeah. lockdown in December? Yeah. Aye, man. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, man. You were just tired of that. You're like, uh, I, I was no. tired. Tear four. Don't do it. You're uh, like, Aish. I, I enjoyed it, though. Is it? It was nice. I, I was 19 then. Mm. So... It was really nice. It was like an all star kind of um special Okay. Um episode. So oh. it was nice to meet all the people who've auditioned in the past. Yeah. It was it was a vibe. It was like, it was like a reunion. It's good. It was like a reunion. I know you do music, I know you do a bit of acting. Are you into any sports at all? Is Asanda no. into any sport? No. Uh, yeah. no. When I was in year seven I tried to join the girls. You're seven or you're eight. I tried to join the girls' football team. It was an A team. <laughs> <laughs> it was a B team. So I thought maybe I can do the B team. I didn't, but what go, made I didn't continue. <laughs> Is it? But PE, I would, I, I would participate in PE. Okay. Yeah. As you should. As you should. I would participate. Yeah. Because yeah. as an artist, if I'm going to be a singer and a dancer, I have to have that stamina on stage. But yeah. Nah, sports. Nah, I think I'd rather do dance. How did you choose football? Why did you go into football? Did you have a friend no, who no, was no. playing? Well, I don't want to talk about as if I wanted to be a footballer. Huh? I just wanted to just fit in, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Me and the girl said, yeah, let's join football. Yeah. You're terrible. <laughs> Went there once, you didn't go back. No? No, because it's control, not for me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to do it. It's not, sports is not my thing.
What is it? Is it the physicality of it? Is it no? Like, what's football? What's that got to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> but dance, I didn't mind. Yeah, dance, I didn't mind. Okay. Yeah, ah, dance, I didn't mind. Because that has to do with you performing. Yeah, I didn't stage. mind. But where's football, netball? Ah. But how um, do you how do you how do you maintain stamina? If you don't do any like sports and whatnot on stage, obviously you need that stamina. Do you go to the gym? You know what it is. Yeah. I was going to the gym this year, but uh these past couple of weeks, I uh, kind of kind of got myself out of the group. But I do need to go back because I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to gain weight because yeah. my body right now was it's giving body, so yeah. I need to make sure I maintain it. Yeah. But you know what it is. Mm. I just love food, and that's my problem. Yeah, hey, I was gonna say that, man. I love food, bro. I got injured. I think it was in December. Oh, I, I done love my food. Like the thing, I eat like a man. <laughs> I used to, I I'm used to eat serious. a lot as well. I eat like a man. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, but if you eat a lot, you gotta go to the gym, man. I this, know. This, the body becoming. No, it's true. Especially as time goes by. That's hey. the thing. We're not getting any younger. <laughs> We're not getting any younger. Nah, that's true, man. But I like your confidence, though. Your Thank confidence. You. I think you are where you are because of your confidence. Even the Britain's Got Talent, wherever you go. I think that's what pushes pushes you. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's one of your your selling point, which is quite a quite a good thing. I've got a game that I wanted to play with you. All right, the game we're gonna play is called Would You Rather. Would you rather know how you will die or when you will die? Oh, that's hard. How or when? Well done, Tim. Now this is good. Last time you gave me some crab crab um, questions. So, would you rather know how you will die? Or when you will die and why? Neither, but ace. You can't come with me. I want to live forever. <laughs> um, nah, you can't. You can't live forever. I wish I could. I know. That would be interesting, though, if we, we could live forever. That would be amazing. But why would you want to live forever? Who wants to die? Do you want to die? But you're going to get old. There's going to be a point where you die. Can't, there's going to be a point where you're gonna, we're not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, but do you want to die? You're going to give others a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Yeah. I think after Costa Titch when he died on stage, I'd rather die like oh, in a that's... safe in a safe, you know what I mean, environment. Because yeah. on stage that's hectic. Yeah. So what was the question again? Ooh, now you've mentioned Costa Titch. Yeah, that, so, so I can so yeah, that but, I can answer but, you properly yeah. with wanna know where or when. <laughs> <laughs> can you just say <laughs> Would you rather know how you will die how? or when? You see how we died? How? How? I don't want it. So do you want to know? I'll phone log. I need to know when. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know when. I want to know when. No, I want to know when. Sorry. Okay, wait. Let, I need to know on. when. Let's move away from the uh, from the game. Go back to Costa because you've mentioned him yeah. now. And as a performer, how did you feel about that? That must have been terrifying. Oh, that hurt me. I'd rather like die in my bed or in my sleep. But yeah. on stage, that's on stage, crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. For your friends, for your family, for you as well. That's crazy, man. Mm. But look, when we talk about dying, I think you're referring it to dying young. Because if you're 21, ah, I'm not 30, dying young, no, never. That's what I'm saying. Ah, but I'm what about soon, 120 something? I you still want to get on? I don't mind dying 120. Yeah? You still be going on stage? No. <laughs> I'll be like this, looking at people like. <laughs> <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> Beyonce nah. will be gone at that time. Okay, oh. would you rather have. Um, I, said, I can't believe you just said this. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you said that. But it's true. Nah, 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 kidding. Careful of that one. Sure. Keep kicking it. Uh, let's see. Hey, this one is long, yo. Would you rather have a number one album of uh, and fail all your exams or pass all your, your exams but lose your voice? Let me repeat that one, yeah? First one. So, would you rather have number one album? Yes. And fail all your exams? Yes. Yo. Why am I going to lose my voice? Yeah, ne? And it's never too late to go back into education. So, let's say, for example, yeah. I want to take a break from the music scene, I can go back to school. Okay. All right. That Pick was yourself up and try again. That's fair I'm enough. I'm losing my voice. That's, that's fair no. enough. Nah. Would you rather drown with your mom or your dad? I don't say that. Next question. <laughs> I need both of them. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the whole point of would you rather? My dad can swim, but my mom can't. So, <laughs> so if you were to drown, drown who it will you save you me drown? most. Who you dead? I will. Yes. So we'd rather drown with your dad. Yes, my mom can't swim because <laughs> she's from Kimberley. Kimberley, there's no beach. <laughs> you know uh, what I mean? Would you rather be able to speak with animals, or would you rather be able to speak any language? 
Any language. Okay. So didn't, wouldn't you want to speak with like animals? Find no, out? any language. Because sometimes, you know, there is everything yeah. is funny <laughs> in your language. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. when you're speaking in your language it's just so funny bring up them. Asanda how do you pronounce your surname is it Jezile or Jezil you know they say Jezil now on BGT but it's yeah. actually Jezile Jezile um, okay yeah I was wondering because I'm going to phone with Asanda Jezile but so to you bro it's Jezil and uh yeah how do you feel about people mispronouncing do you correct or I mean you I normally say Jezil Asanda Jezil but yeah you know when you're like in South Africa, there's no such thing as that. Yeah, Jezil. No, Asanda and Domba Zani. Jezil. Oh, Jezil. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, ugh, even speaking about that. Yeah. It's costless. I don't really care. Asanda Jezil. Jezil. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Okay, let's get into the album. The name of the album is called The Wait Is Over. How did you come about with the name? Because I haven't released um my own art. Yeah. I won't say my own craft, my own work, my own album. I'll say art, because to me it's art. I haven't released a full body of art, of art yeah. in 10 years. And okay. I really feel like at my age now, I'm old enough to know how I want to move, the direction that I'm looking to go into, mm. and how I want to be perceived, and how I want my music to sound and be. Yeah. I mean, why do you care more about um, how you want to be perceived? Is it something Not that really you... perceived, but it's like my image. Yeah. I know the image that I want. Okay. And how did you discover the the image that you want? What inspires that? Do I wanted to be grown and sexy. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to be grown and sexy because I'm a woman now, mm. um, but still classy in a way where you know I'm still reserved, not yeah. doing the most. Mm. Um, but obviously, just to show that I'm not really the same 11 year old that I was. Mm. That's how I was introduced. But obviously, 10 years time flies. Yeah. So this is me now. And then your management is it still the same management or have you changed? Um, still, still the same. Still, still the same. A yeah. lot, um, a lot of pe- new people as well that we're working with that also with the EP. Yeah. So, it's really just um, connecting the dots and really networking and building relationship, mm-hmm. so that you know when you actually do business, everything flows. Yeah. And I think that's really important for like, in the business industry, you have to kind of really know the person you're working with, who they are as a person first before. Because yeah. sometimes, even as a friend, yeah, they'll be a good friend, but they're a shit business partner. True. So, and that's where the relationship just ends up yeah. just not going working. well. Working, you know? Yeah. Because now you look at them differently after that mm. mishap. Not saying happened to me, yeah. but it's just like, you just have to be very, very careful with who you work with, mm. you know? Because energy also goes a long way as well, so. Yeah. So now, in terms of contracts, how do you how do you deal with contracts? Does your your your, par- your parents get involved? Does your management? Um, get I have a lawyer, mm-hmm. so you know with contracts like it's the wedding is too much. It's like Oxford English. That yeah, that's too much. So, so he, he kind of breaks it down. <laughs> he breaks it down for me. Yeah, and I'm like, oh wow, that's what it means. Okay. Yeah. Why do they yeah. do it like that? Is it another way of conning people? Like, because, is that the trick? Because to be honest, if you're really if you're oblivious and yeah. you see a contract. And you just sign. What if you're down? What if you're going to go down? Yeah. You need to know what you're getting yourself into mm-hmm. to break it down, to make a decision. Yeah. Or to have an alternative where, you, where both parties can come to a conclusion mm-hmm. and agree. Yeah. What about the business side of it? Are you learning more about the business side of it? 100%. Mm. It's a lot. Because some people get comfortable with the art, like just doing the art. But then forget, you know, the business side. Cause yeah, that's, the business that's side. I'm it's not just going to the studio and writing songs. You have to you have to plan that. You need to have people that are willing to commit. That's the business side of it. You need to have a team. Yeah. Also, you need to have, um, obviously, a marketing plan. Mm. After your EP's out, I, I can't just sit at home and then let people listen to it. I have to put it out there to people to know. Marketing. You know, so I have yeah. to have a marketing plan. That's the business side of it. Mm. You have to have performances here and there you need to have podcasts interviews yeah um going to certain events where you know you're going to meet certain people yeah. you need to network that's just the business side of it mm-hmm. to my understanding and so far it's going well okay and this understanding that you describing now is it something that you self-discovered or is it something that was instilled in you um i mean i knew it but i re- to be honest i couldn't really act upon it okay. before my ep came out because realistically if i want to if I want to be out there, 
how am I going to be out there if I don't have my own music body out of work, yeah. or body of work? To doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah. yeah, there's BGT and whatever, but that yeah. was then. People want to know what's going on now. Like, yeah. Everyone wants an update. So yeah. I really had to push my socks up and put the EP out so that it makes sense for me to do things like this, Yeah, you know, mm. to and market in, it out. In terms of the industry, what is it that you know now that you didn't know then that has made you a better person? I don't really think I've changed when it came to that. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing. Keep a, keep a business to yourself. Keep a yeah. plans to yourself. What about people betraying? People changing colors? People becoming... Oh, 100%. But that's still going to happen whether I do music or not. Yeah. But Even is there if any was... people that you thought, hey, can't deny with Joe, out of all people, where they kind of... Oh, 100%. But I had that since I was young. Yeah. So now, because I'm chilled, whatever, if you, if you want to... To be honest, if you're weird, I'll just cut you off. I don't really have time. Yeah. Like, there's the door. I don't really have time. Yeah. Yes, yeah, well, like, guys. But because now, this. like, I've ghosted, like, everyone, people have known me when I was young, they'll be like, you, you, like you're a ghost. Mm. I ghosted because I just feel like I just want to find myself yeah. and build and become my own best friend. Because if I was chilling with certain people yeah. back then, I wouldn't have had this EP. Yeah. To be honest. But ghosted as in how? You just ignore everyone? Just Get my distance. Sometimes I just like to ghost. But it's not good if you're an artist because you need to be out there. So yeah. content-wise, you have to be out there. Yeah. But ghosting, <coughs> ghosting from certain individuals, that's definitely needed. But isn't that good as well for your creative space where you can just... And for my energy, yeah. Yeah. Certain oh. people that I've, well, I went to school with yeah, and I ain't seen them since prom. Mm. How were you at school? So, were you smart? To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> you see the school year, I didn't really, um, I'll be honest, I didn't really care for anything. Okay. I tried where I could, but when it came to creativity, like drama, music, dance, yeah. anything that has to do with being creative, yeah. Mm. I hated maths. I like English. Yeah. Why did you hate maths? My, my little sister I don't hate maths. I hate maths. Mathematics. Well, yeah. Satan. Yeah. Well, Satan, Satan mathematics. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What was your favorite subject? Um, history was nice. Okay. Cause I won't nah, geography is not. Mm-mm. So he met in Jebis and Kali, right? Nah, math was not for me. Yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. Which side did you go? Did you go the commerce, as in like accounting side, or the the um which which subject did you choose when you had to choose? When no, you math was compulsory. Yeah. So how did you survive? What do you mean? He I'm meant. still here, most <laughs> making money. Make it. Yeah. <laughs> you told Literally. me that uh, you're writing exams. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm in uni. Okay. So I'm doing business management. All right. I go to Arden. Okay. University. Shout out, shout out, shout Arden out University. to Arden University. Yeah. Oh, it's stressful. How are you finding it? Yeah, I was gonna ask you. Um, it's nice. It's um, it's nice. Uh, let me. Emphasize that because assignments are not nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an ex- I'm an ex- when I mean ex- it's nice, yeah. when I mean it's nice, where um, I'm disciplined, so I know when it's time to go out and have a good time, come Yeah, you and do I know that. when it's time to you know like focus, focus. Yeah, yeah. And about fun, about this day, Pinji, Can I be honest with you? I don't really need a man. I'll be honest. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't really need a man. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have. No, ah, I'm the sing- boys. The boys will be disappointed. I don't need. I don't, I don't need a man. I genuinely, honestly, I don't need a man. Of course, mm. I've dated. Yeah. When like I was young. Yeah. But I'm at a phase where my life where it's like. I feel need distraction. <clears throat> not even distraction. It's okay to date now. Now that you're yeah. older, but um, I can't really just date anyone. That's not really not on my level to sound cocky, but someone that's yeah. just not gonna. I'm match you up. Match me up. Like, mm. if I'm gonna date a man, I'm gonna date a man that's gonna who's gonna value me yeah. and understand what I do, um, the career path that I want. Because sometimes some guys just like the idea of having you, but they can't really value you. So what's the point? I might as well just put energy onto me the yeah. relationship. Because if I'm with you now, are we gonna last when I'm 29? Where are you gonna be? Yeah. Then I have to start fresh. <laughs> I no, I don't have time for that. No, I ain't got time so, for that. So you don't want to start fresh. Once no. you once you meet someone, you want to commit, go in marriage things. I'm not looking for commitment right now. I'm not looking for a steady relationship right now. I think it's better to focus. If it comes, on your it comes. Career. If it goes, it goes. But yeah. nah, nah, stay away from boys. Boys nah. are dangerous. Yes. Focus on your craft. I'm a fan of we want to hear. We want to hear the music. No, it's true, boys. Ah, boys will date. It's like ah. some chole, son. Ah, chole. I'm telling you. <laughs> Now we want the music because sometimes when you get in relationships, you get distracted. Man, just man, 100%. Just man, 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 man. No, a relationship is an investment. Yeah. 
Ah, that's true. For what? Yeah. For in. So the ones that you've invested, you like, yeah, I know. Invested where? There's nothing. Uh, yeah. Ain't nobody that I want back. <laughs> Trust me on that. Let's go into your album. There's six songs in there. Uh, my favorite one. Which one is your favorite song, by the way? I, I'll like, tell you I love Wondering. Is it? I'm not going to lie. I like Wondering and Mina Nawe. I like Mina Nawe. Like, it's on repeat. Even but, you on you said yesterday, but you said yesterday. I got confused. Mina yes. Do you know why? Because I was listening to it. I had not reached uh, Mina Ngiti. Is it T? Mina Ngiti T? T. So I, I was like, yo, this is dope and whatnot. And then it played. And then I was like, wait a minute. It's got that vibe. Mm. And whatnot. And I was like, hey, no, I don't know. Between those two. I mean, Wondering, who picked Wondering as the main track? Did you did you choose that? Or do you guys, do you sit with the team? Hey. Uh, who, how do you make that decision? That song, I didn't plan anything, to be honest. Is it? Yo, I didn't plan anything. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's the main track, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Wondering. I went to the studio. Yeah, and then he made the beat, went along with it, and then are they making the that beat one? I, I did it in the studio. Oh, that okay. one I didn't have, I had no pen, I had no paper. Yeah, I just had the hook like boy, only, 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 uh, how many times? So I was like, okay, it gave me like an Afro beat, Afro swing type of feel. Yeah, the bass like that's when like yo. Yeah. so I was like, yeah, like I, this one. This one, you don't have to overthink. You just need to just go with it. It's yeah. chilled. Which song should we play if we're to play any song? Pick one that we can play. I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. Uh, Aish. This we have to do heads or tails. Heads or tails. Heads or tails for what? Let me see. First of all, let me check. Uh, I've got it here. Where's the album? I've got the album there. There you go. I had to buy the album. I didn't download the body yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was support, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I don't know, man. It's your album. You tell me. Because I'm going to play what I like. But I don't get know. Or we'll live it up. Live it up. Uh, we can play. Okay, we can play half half. Maybe okay. two, a bit of. I but Mina now, it's your yeah, Mina now, yeah. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, come to my way too. And you know when the sun is out in your garden and you just play Mina, I did that. Yeah, I played in my garden. All the neighbors heard it. It's none of my business. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's it's on repeat on my side. Let me see if my Bluetooth will connect. As the Bluetooth, but don't worry, I'll play. I'll play like the original in the mm-hmm. background anyway, just for us in the studio. Let me see. No, that's it. I was using it before you came in, so probably the battery. Oh, okay. Battery died, yeah. But don't worry, I'll just play it in the in the in the background. Oh, there we go. It works now. Yeah, I think it's. Good. You wanna sing along? Should I? I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, I'm sorry, some, some people would like to hear your voice. Yeah, 
I like the mixture though. Thank you. Yeah, I like the mixture. I want to be like versatile. Some different genres. I'm just my dad's favorite song. You know what you're missing. No time to be stressing. And what inspired this one? Girl, you find you don't know. I'm American R&B vibes. Too sweet to be stressing. So that's my type of vibe. There is no need to be stressing. Get yourself here, we be vibing, vibing. Don't be looking at for nothing. I'm way too smooth. Way too smooth. I do what. Robinsons and Red Bull. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Hey, 0% alcohol. Try it. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I like this one. Thank you. How long has the album, the EP, been up? One month. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was a month. Today's the 13th. So one month oh. today. Or yesterday. It's going well. Love it, love it. Let's talk about the photo shoot then. How was the photo shoot for you? For the album? The photo shoot for the album, yeah. that, was, that was my mood board like from last year. Yeah. I wanted the way everything turned out, the way I wanted the colours. Yeah. I wanted grown vibes mm. to say, wow, I'm really turning one. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to... So when did you turn 21? You Last year? Yeah, I'm 22 this year. Okay. When is your birthday? September 17. Hey, but now, okay, September 17th. I'm October 17th. That makes mm-hmm. you, no, you're not a Libra. That's before, isn't it? Virgo. Virgos. Oh, I'm a Virgo dangerous. Just before the Libras. Hey. How are we dangerous? Virgos. How? Hey, I've dated a Virgo before. Hey. Oh, how are we? Hey, nina, nina. That's tricks. Nah, nah, nah. Hey. You don't play. Hey, tell you. Listen. Hey, you listen. don't. Listen. Huh? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. You guys are, you guys are dangerous. Mm-hmm. Libras, Libras are accommodating, man. Libras are lovely. Libras are chilled. No, I chilled. do like Libras. Yeah, no, Libra Libras, guys are better. Libra yeah, women, no. no, I'm not a fan of them. I know. Tina and we love being romantic, everything, a push. <laughs> you guys are smooth. Because, yeah, yeah, Chilled, yeah. laid chilled, back. Chilled, laid back. We like to balance. That's the only thing I don't like about Libras. We like to balance too much. Really? Yeah, yeah we like to please everyone, but you can't. You can't. You can't, so. I'm sorry. Yeah, so the last one is, do you know what love is? Yes. Okay, do you know what love is? No, I love myself. Yo, I like that. <laughs> so what inspired this one? I'm poor, Timos. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Somebody was in love. Somebody broke in because I am. So. Yes, uh, ah. Shout to him, though. Yeah? Because this song wouldn't, wouldn't have existed. Wouldn't have existed. So shout yeah. to him because 
This song, this is a ladies' song. Yeah. The ladies. All right. You know, I'm no different than any other woman. We all go through it. Yeah. Here's what it is. I uh, know, lastly, listen. Definitely. Uh, what's the other thing I wanted to ask you? If there was um anyone, yes. And actually, to, before I ask you that question, there's another game that my sister suggested that I play on okay. the podcast. Let me try it again. Uh, let me try and find it. Uh, speedy, speedy. Okay, okay. Stay with me. Stay with me. Now this one, you've got five seconds to answer the questions, okay. right? Five seconds. Doesn't matter if you get it right, if you get it wrong, don't worry about it that much. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right. We call it the the, the speed quiz. Okay. Finding this signal. I don't know. I'll find a name for it. I don't find a name for it, to be fair. I'm trying. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. What's the name of my podcast? Finding the signal. What's five times five? 25. 25. Who's the president of South Africa? Ramaphosa. Who sang this song? Oh, na na. What's my name? How many days are in a year? 265. Brilliant. How many sides does a triangle Three. have? Three sides. Uh, whose nose grew longer every time he lied? Pinocchio. What do you get when you, uh, when you freeze water? Ice. How many planets are on our solar system? Eight. <laughs> Where does Santa Claus live? North Pole. Brilliant. Uh, what do you use to write on the blackboard? Um, yeah, chalk. Okay. chalk. On the internet search, what does www stands for? Worldwide? World, World Wide Web. Brilliant stuff. What's the name of Asunder's new EP? The wait is over. <laughs> <laughs> name any Denzel Washington movie? American Gangster. Uh, nice, I love that one. Who won the last football or soccer World Cup? Messi plays for them. Argentina. Brilliant, yes. yes. Where was William Shakespeare born? Stratford upon Ave. Wow, brilliant. I didn't think you'd get that one. Look at you. Here we are. Please give it up for us. Thank you. Yeah. We spoke about Bugsy Malone. We actually spoke about everything that you've yes. done. If there's anyone in your life that you like to give flowers and you like to thank, whether they'll be dead or alive, who would that person be? Um, definitely my grandmother because the release date is the day that she died. Okay. Our and condolences to you and family. Thank you. It was two. She died two years ago, mm. so I just felt like I need to go hard for her. Yeah. Um. But before her, God first. Okay. Cause He was with me throughout those times. I felt like giving up. Those times I was stressed. Those times I just felt like you know what? Oh, I ain't got time for this. Like, I'll just I'll be in uni. I'll just continue. Just yeah. call it a day. Yeah. But no. Instead, I pushed. And my parents mm-hmm. for helping me um, where they can. Yeah. And making sure that they execute. Brilliant. Definitely. And myself. I give myself flowers for being brave. And, you know, I'm only young. It's only the beginning. But I'm yeah. very proud of myself. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I don't really realise how far I've come where what I've done. Yeah. Because I'm always focused on the future and the next wanting one. to do more next and one, more. Yeah. But I really should say, you know, I got it. Yeah. You know, I'm doing good. And... You know, God's got my back, mm-hmm. and we Gucci. Yeah, we good. I like that. I like that. As you said, that I'm we thinking good. of a clip on Instagram that says, first of all, I like to thank myself or yes. thank me for all the w- the hard work that you've done." I think you have actually. Thank and you. sometimes it's nice to sit down and soak it in. Yeah, you know, instead I don't of soak it in. I'm always looking at yeah, we have to do the next thing that we have to do, and yeah, you know, I got studio. I need to do this. I need to yeah. do that. I'm always. You know, mm. I'm a Virgo, you know? Yeah, Virgos. Ish, I'm a Virgo, but I'm much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, son. Oh. No, nah, man, thank you very much for coming to my platform. Thank you so much if for having me. anything that you want to let us know about Asanda, if there's anything that I missed out, anything that you feel like people should know, um, I know the EP is out there. Please yes. go and get it. It's called The Wait Is Over. All platforms. All platforms, yeah? 100%. Okay. Ah, come on, guys, buy it. Please don't download it. I just bought it. Please, Nyangela. Just buy the album. You know better, I mean? yeah. you better buy that album. Are you gonna be performing anywhere soon? Are you planning on doing any yes. performances? Yes. Um, yet? I can't announce it yet because obviously everything needs to be out. But this yeah. summer we are booked and busy. That's and good. when I have those shows and performances, mm. you're the first one I'm gonna call. Hala, Definitely. hala, VIP section, please. <laughs> VIP section, please. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Is there any Literally. game I forgot? Uh, I think I've done all the games. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think, think we've done it. we done very well. That's, that was quite good, man. Thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's our son, Jesse Lee. Hey.
Oh, it's, 